French President Emmanuel Macron has defended his decision to push through an unpopular reform to the pension system despite a wave of protests across the country. In a television interview on Wednesday, he said pushing up the pension age from 62 to 64 was a necessity in order to protect the system for future generations. There aren't a hundred solutions if we want the pension system to be balanced. It no longer is. And the more we wait, the more it will get worse. And so this reform is necessary. And I say this to the French people. I don't enjoy doing this. I would prefer not to do this. But it is also because of a sense of responsibility. Well, a new day of protest has been called for today and there are also concerns looking a little bit ahead for security for King Charles's forthcoming state visit. I'm joined by our Paris correspondent Hugh Schofield. Hugh, what are we seeing today? What, what is the continued sort of level of public interest, public support for these protests? Uh, well, it's still very high. The number of people who oppose the, the reform is still up in the 60, 70 percent bracket. Uh, by extension, the number of people who support the actions is still very high. Um, and today we're going to see another, the ninth day uh, in this campaign uh, of strikes and protest demonstrations. The difference being, being that now, of course, it comes after the crucial moment last week when President Macron decided to push through this, this bill avoiding a void, uh, vote on the text in, in Parliament, which was seen by opponents as a, as a provocation and a decision to override uh, popular will and parliamentary uh, will. Um, rightly or wrongly, that's the interpretation, and that's uh, what is giving the protest movement an added zest and an added determination today. So we'll be seeing big demonstrations across the country. I've just been reading that at uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport, there's the protests on the motorway or on the roads leading into it, which um, has led to pictures of desperate travellers dragging their luggage along roads because they can't have access by taxi or car to the airport now. I, I'm sure that'll be cleared soon, but right now it's causing problems. Uh, and, and, and little sort of lightning, wildcat actions like that are going to be commonplace, I think, today, uh, with the underlying risk, and this is what everyone's warning about, of um, of, of them turning nasty, of turning violent. Um, we've seen that um, sporadically in the past few weeks at the end of demonstrations, but now there is this sort of sense of self-justification uh, among many of the protesters who are saying, well, you know, we've done what we can peacefully, uh, but Macron, by sticking to his guns, is is is, is provoking us, and, and therefore don't be surprised if things start radicalising. How do um, the, these French pension changes compare with European counterparts, and you know why are people so angry angry about it? Is it the fear of having to work longer? Is it that they are, you know, upset about um, the, the financial loss in in that phase of life? Because obviously we're seeing aging populations everywhere, and pension ages potentially being pushed up too. Completely, and uh, it's a question one one has to ask oneself over and over again. And I think the the, the answer is very complicated. I mean, in a way. I mean, I put this to people, but I just get uh, a kind of rather sort of blank answer. I mean, if you're worried about your money, you don't want to retire because, I mean, automatically when you go on a pension, even a generous pension, you're going to lose money. So, you know, so, so having more people work longer means in theory that they're going to have more, more money for longer. But that's not the way it's seen here. Um, um, and and uh, the, the truth is, just to take up the first part of your question, that France has a much lower um, uh, retirement age than than other countries in Europe, um, who, which are still moving in an upward direction. You know, I'll go up to 67. I think the one difference is that you know perhaps in the French system is a bit pe peculiar in that you you can't do anything except have the French state pension system. I mean, there is no individual pension. Uh, or very, very few. Um, in Britain, you know, people might, you know, are in control of their own pensions, may have a, a mixed pension of, of state and their employer's pension or, or, or pots that they put aside through investments in, you know, in, in, in various um, plans. Now, that, none of that is happening here. So there's a kind of inev inevitability. Everyone is concerned about pensions and pension ages. You know, if the government says we're doing this, then everyone is affected. That's part of it. But I think the other part of this is that, I mean, you get this whenever you talk to people in these protests. I mean, very quickly, the subject goes off the pensions and onto all sorts of other things which people are complaining about. And if you talk to a student, it'll be about you know, students' problems. If you talk to a fisherman, it'll be about fishermen's problems. If you talk to anyone, you'll find that there's a range of problems and it's just a kind of general mood in the country which is extremely down and angry.